Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some products that I've chosen that are all under $20 that I think are worth uh, looking into and potentially buying. And I will go through all of them uh, a little bit more in depth. I will also, I have written down in my book how much they cost, generally speaking. Um, and um, let's let's start. So the first product is this one. And this is the Hada Labo um, Goku Jun Oil Cleansing. So it's an oil cleanser. And um, Hada Labo is, or Hada Labo, uh, in Japanese uh, is a Japanese brand so it's a representative of J Beauty and this is a perfect oil cleanser in my opinion because it doesn't sting the eyes it's very gentle yet effective um, it is based on olive oil so you can even see this uh, picture of olive oil here and it is uh, I mean it's a standard size but it is um, it retails generally so generally online it depends on the retailer. Every retailer has a slightly different price, but generally it's about $15. And it's going to last you as well for a few months. Um, I mean, it's it's a great one, 200 mil. And I think there are also other Korean ones that are also very good, um, but I haven't tried them yet for long enough to speak about it, but this one I can definitely recommend. So, then we have two products from the same brand and um, this one is a very well-known brand revolution skincare you know stemming from makeup revolution and you know all the other revolution xxx or whatever they have so many sub brands but this is the hyaluronic acid which is very often sold out and it retails for about seven euros uh, online and i know that there are a few hyaluronic acids on the market in that price range but why is this one better than let's say let me get it out oh no it's in my bathroom uh, why is this one better than the one from the ordinary and that's a very good question this one is a little bit more liquidy this this is a little bit more I don't know if you'll be able to see it probably not I don't know you probably won't be able to see it but it is more liquidy it is it's slightly it's still viscous but it is more liquid um while the ordinary ones is a bit more you know gloopy and um a lot of people actually don't like that now for me it doesn't really matter um but for those who actually want a more liquidy hyaluronic acid this one does wonders this one does a great job and I would definitely recommend it. Another product from Revolution is the Pink Clay Detox Mask. And this one retails sometimes for eight pounds, um, but with anything Revolution, you can get it for at least 20% off. So they also have good sales. Let me get it out. And um, it looks like this. It's pink, obviously, um, and you might think, well, it's just a pink clay mask. I mean, it's it's not rocket science, and you are right. Pink clay masks are not rocket science, but this one is very good for sensitive skins. Um, it does its job. It's not anything extraordinary, but it is a good pink clay mask. So, if, for example, you say, okay, Sand and Sky does a fantastic pink clay mask, this one is a smoother, it doesn't have all the additional acids, as far as I remember, in it. Let me see. Um, it has citric acid, I see it. But otherwise, I don't see like lactic acid in it, I don't see it. So it doesn't have all these additions, but it is still a very good clay mask. It's smooth, and it's very good for sensitive skin, and does its job. So, very well done to them. Another serum, um, well actually the first serum, no, not the first, we already talked about the Revolution one, is the I Unique Propolis Serum. Uh, it's called Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. And 
it is a 50 milliliter bottle again and here the prices range a little bit looks like this this, is this type of color uh, the prices range uh, on Amazon it's 17 on your styles you can get for 15 on the official our unique side is 19.99 so the price range is in that range but it's definitely under $20 and this one really gave me that brightening effect that it promises. So for my skin, it worked really well. Uh, and I know that a lot of people try other propolis serums and always kind of go back to this one because it's often the most affordable one as well. Then we have the Hydrogel eye patches from Hamish. They are pink. I'm not going to open it, but they're pink. Um, half of Instagram is has pictures of it. Um, so... They are on Yes Styles for $17.48 as of the day of filming, but I normally buy it for less than $10. Uh, Style Korean oftentimes has sales on them. Uh, this is not sponsored by Style Korean. I buy there just like a normal customer. Um, yeah, I buy it always under $10. And th these ones are great. Uh, I really enjoy them. I mean, eye patches are not going to solve all of your eye care problems you know the under eye situation but there are some that are better and there are some that are not so there you go and then we have the Pyongkang Yul I managed to pronounce it <laughs> let's see you have seen this bottle the essence toner and there is the first thing what I like about this is a very very comparatively small ingredients list and that already gives me hope um, I mean a long ingredients list isn't necessarily bad but this one has a very small um, a short list and this one is 200 ml on yes styles it retails for about $17 on Amazon you can go down to 14 um, on style Korean I buy for under 10 when they have an offer so I mean it's a great toner um, it is well you're not gonna see it but it is a little bit viscous so it is watery but also it has this little viscosity the silkiness in in the formula so I really really like it it's very hydrating um, sinks in very well as well really really nice really recommend it um if you're not really picky with your toners this one does more than just basic hydration uh, in my opinion then we have another um, recommendation and these are the patches so acne patches so if blemish blemish patches whatever you want to call them in terms of blemish care a clear soothing clear spot patch by Neogen. So they on Sacred Glam they retail for about $5.99, roughly the same price on Amazon, but you can get them cheaper as well. And so they come in two different sizes. Um, so these are the 12 millimeter ones and these are the 10. And they also come in sealed as well. So you open them freshly and then it's inside like this on, on a clear sheet. And then you can put them back in and also zip it as well so they don't dry out. Um, I've used up already two of these packets and I've ordered three more because they are really, really good. They You put it on the blemish, it sucks it out. It's it's fantastic. Highly recommend. I've tried, I've tried my fair share of different ones. Um, now let's talk about The Ordinary. If you haven't seen The Ordinary, I don't know where you've been living, but welcome welcome to the planet of skincare. The Ordinary will probably be, for many, um, the first introduction to skincare. And The Ordinary has a huge range of relatively good products. Some not so good, in my opinion, and some that are really, really good. And I've, I've already mentioned the hyaluronic acid. Now, I think the consistency of that hyaluronic acid is um, too goopy. It, it is too thick. Um, but there are other products that they have uh, which are amazing as well. Now, I personally like the Argoline Solution 10%, um, but I only use it on 
this wrinkle that I have here on my forehead, which I was kind of born with it. Um, maybe it's Maybelline. Uh, and then on, on the sides of my nose as well. And this is my third bottle. Um, and I've seen, I've seen results. I've seen people also say that it didn't work for them. I've seen many people say that it did work for them. So um, it really depends. Uh, you have to be patient. You have to keep on using it. It's not going to remove the wrinkle completely. I mean, it's not rational and even topical or rational probably won't be able to go that far. But it's going to smooth it out um, and make it less noticeable, make it less creasy when you wear makeup. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. But I also would like to recommend, and I don't have it with me. So this one cost uh, on the official website $7.90 US. Um, and I also would like to recommend the Marula oil to uh, some uh, and or the Squalene oil. I think they, they do both of these and they are both very nice on a kind of lighter um, scale oils. So even if you, um, like rosehip oil for me is too strong. Um, I start, the, the rosehip oil is too strong even on the smell. I mean, I smell like fish oil. And I don't want to smell like fish oil, so I always try to find facial oils that are lighter, uh, both, uh, you know, on application, but also with the scent. So, um, Marula oil, Squalene, all very nice formulations, in my opinion, from The Ordinary, all under $20, and I think you should check them out. Now, last but not least, the Marlene and Goats... Um, lip moisturizer now for a lip moisturizer it's 14 dollars uh, or 12 pounds and you can say that for a lip moisturizer that's expensive and you are not wrong but it is under 20 dollars and it's a very good product so i as you probably know i could have come in here and talked about the rituals lip balm that i really like it's also under 20 dollars but i wanted to show you something different and talk about a different product because this lip moisturizer is very good it feels very hydrating and moisturizing and it has a I don't know let's see let's try let's see if it focuses like you see that it's a colorless texture uh, colorless formulation and it's really nice I really 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 like it so um, I have two or three at home so yes um, let us talk quickly about what maybe some other brands are that are in this kind of more affordable skincare. So we've touched upon Revolution, we've touched upon The Ordinary, Now, of course there is the Inky List. Now I'm not a proponent of the Inky List myself, but it has worked for some people, especially the kind of the older products, not the new stuff that they keep coming out every month or so. Um, but the older products have worked considerably well for people. I've tried the hyaluronic acid. I think it was a decent hyaluronic acid. And I've tried the kaolin clay mask, which was really nice as well. Um, but, I mean, the Inculus is a little bit eh, for me. And the same goes for The Ordinary, I guess. The Ordinary has released the niacinamide powder or the L-ascorbic acid powder. And I'm just like face palming myself, you know, uh, seeing these releases because I do not agree that one needs such products um, but there are some good ones and I think if you are on a budget and you're not very picky with your skincare routine you need to check out those brands now um, of course there are other brands like um, Geek and Gorgeous for example a new brand for me personally let me dig it out let's see if we have um, some vegan gorgeous products. I have my serum stash right in front of me. Like, for example, this is the Bee Bomb, um, also under 10 euros. And uh, this is the Niacinamide Serum. I have not tried it. Um, the Azelaic Acid Serum is very highly rated uh, by people. And I have not tried it either. So please do not take my word for it. But this, in general, oh, this one, sorry, it was just standing on there. This is the Azelaic Acid one. Um, so this brand, these products are under 10 euros um, and can be bought in the US or in Europe. Uh, so this is one brand to have on a lookout as well. Um, there are other ones um, as well, but 
let's not talk about all of them otherwise I will not have that much content um, but yeah I think Hylamide is a good one to check out and Hylamide is a sister brand to, D uh, to the Ordinary so uh, DCM let me show you this is for example a Hylamide uh, sub Q skin serum this is how their packaging looks like and they have a pink one let me see yes so they have the low molecular uh, let me get it out low molecular hyaluronic acid serum for example for that more deeper hydration because low molecules get deeper into the skin I really really enjoyed this one as well I think I think it's also under $20 and really really nice as well so there is plenty for people on a budget and skincare doesn't need to be expensive um, and it oftentimes isn't and of course there are brands like for example Barbara Storm that uh, charges 300 euros for a hyaluronic acid serum and um, yeah. here I would insert like a very sad music if I knew how to insert things into videos I'm not at that level but yeah um, it's just it's really sad that some brands go that far uh, to charge customers but hey it is what it is there are plenty of both you know Eastern uh, or Asian so to say um, beauty brands that can offer products under $20 and of course there are plenty of Western brands that can offer products under $20 so I hope that this was useful um, especially if you are um, on a budget or you're just getting into skincare uh, I think it's um, it's wise to not start with the most expensive products um, and see work your way through um, work your way oftentimes up um, but yeah I hope you have a good day bye bye